There'll be a lot of mums and dads waking up this morning, and I'm sure Sarah's going to join in this, uh, saying that how on earth can you be that organised when you've got a family, you've got small children, and as, as Shaz says oh. here, the problem with cleaning is that as soon as I decide to clean one room, the gorgeous little darlings call my ch children decide that's the perfect place to play. Well, that's the thing, you've got to keep on top of it, and if you are savvy, you can work cleaning into your day, you can do it in the advert breaks, you can do it whilst you're um, waiting for your conditioner in the, in the shower, you can quickly clean the shower. There's all sorts of places you can shimmy a bit of cleaning in. But wow. what, <laughs> what are you doing with your children when this is going on? Well, my older ones are at school and my toddler he has a little duster and he thinks it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and what he loves doing is so getting a sock and doing at the skating school, boards. So you're you see, because a lot of people mm -hmm. are getting home. It's very often the first time they've seen no, their children. No, I don't children. always clean yeah. when they're at school. Oh. What I might do is set the alarm in the morning for 15 minutes earlier than normal and then quickly rip whip round and then do 15 minutes in the evening. What Obviously, time? it all depends what you're doing what, in your day. What time yeah. do you get up, Janet? Half six. And so you set up 15 minutes early, so, quarter past, so sort of quarter past five you get up in order to get some cleaning done? No, I get up at half six, and then I'm oh, in the shower by seven, downstairs, doing breakfast by half seven. Super yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather spend time with my children than No, but that's the point, you see, cleaning. if I'm cleaning, I only do it Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, no cleaning, out the house, having a good time. So but they my, don't mess up the house? My son's no. at home with me in the day, and so we, we're doing other things like baking Yeah, but we're only doing half an hour. Anyone can find half an hour. But if I challenge you, if you go home tonight or this afternoon, set your timer, half an hour. You, you set will a timer? Be, yes, because then you don't overclean. Mm. If you set a timer, you are focused, you don't procrastinate, you get in, you get out, and then you get on with your day. And if you do it for half an hour, you will be shocked at how but much you can if, get done. Surely promise, the house has got to be you. clean to start with. It's got to, to be do tidy. It half an hour. So if you're starting like the organised mum method, which is what it's called, from fresh and your house is challenging, then you might want to do the messy house boot camp. It takes one week, get it sorted. Right, so look, I've got the messy house boot camp yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is perfect for Garraway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you're saying so each of these things is split split into different days. days. Monday to Friday room, only. Bedroom, so you've got weekend off. Yep. And the, how long will it take to do one day here? Because you're saying so that's the boot camp. So mm. that is slightly hardcore. Mm. You've got to get so stuck in. So you have to take like a whole week off work or something to be no, able to do no, that. No, no. Basically, do no. You can, you, full time. You can, no, it's not a full time thing. You can do as much as you can. That's the main thing. Don't overstretch yourself. Anything is better than nothing, and you start to notice the difference really quickly. OK, so, I, I, despite Ben's constant and continuous scathing attacks, <laughs> I feel like I do do a lot of tidying in the house. Yes. And you probably more than half an hour, actually, if you look yes. at how you follow the kids round, and, mm -hmm. you, as you say, you may be baking with them, and then you're clearing up from that. But that isn't cleaning, you see. By the time you no. clear the table under the dishwasher, it, it, the actual time it that's takes to do a normal chores, isn't it? That's just general life. That's just general, that's just general life. General that is just general life. Yeah, actually doing isn't it? anything. So, on top of that, you're then going around and cleaning the windows and the so mirrors. So what, what happens is you'll find that the more you keep on top of it, there's the less general right. tidying, and it just becomes ingrained. Mm. The kids pick up on it, and they just become tidier naturally. One of the things I think is very interesting what you say, and I don't know if you agree with this, is actually these days, I think sometimes mums and dads will be so keen to spend, in inverted commas, quality time with yeah, their absolutely. children that they're not doing those summer things in front of them, and they're not learning those skills. My mum was brilliant. She did everything. Thing. So I went to uni and I didn't really know how no. to wash but clothes, surely, I didn't know if, how to, like no. you say, dust first so that you... If you're doing a bit of baking, mm. then you've got to clean up after that because mm. that's part of the baking process. But they process, don't know how to it? clean a room, like you said, start or with Or do a load of laundry and, and separate their whites from their, the dark colours and that Isn't that thing. part of play, is what I'm maybe suggesting? Part of play if they're playing in their own environment. Mm. But what about that family that are at work all the time? Mm. They maybe need a cleaner. You know, it's something I'm looking into as a possibility, just so I can spend that time with my children. But wouldn't you rather mm. save your money and then take the kids on a really good holiday? No, I'd I would. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather clean a little I'd bit extra and go I'd on a good holiday. We've had lots children. of people get in touch with this. Uh, Justine says, depends how big your house is. I'd love a cleaner, but I'd be running around Absolutely. cleaning before they arrive, as I'd be embarrassed if they arrived to an unclean house. <laughs> Uh, Tara says, you can probably tidy in about 30 minutes, but definitely not clean it in 30 minutes. It takes me 20 minutes just to do my bathroom. That sounds like quite a bathroom, oh my gosh, Tara. that sounds like a palatial bathroom. Um, <laughs> no. uh, Jenny says, 30 no, minutes is plenty normal. of time to clean a house. Personally, don't understand how people let the house get so untidy. It would take so much longer. Routine, making sure that you put things where they belong <coughs> in the home after using works wonders.
Are you convinced by any of this? Sir? No, I don't think so. Go home yeah. and give it a try. No. Then message me and let no. me know. Uh, no, oh, no, I'm going to carry on playing with my son, I think, and take him to the park. We, get, we could get, I tell you what, we could do some filming of Garraway doing the messy I'm house I'm going to try. Camp. I've just discovered that you have to dust an extractor fan. That's a breakthrough <laughs> for me. You've got an extractor fan? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I've never even tried to clean it or dust it. Very right. exciting. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. That's on Friday as well. I'm going to look the okay. That is today. I'll let you know. You've got to have a good scrub. I'll yeah. give the shower screen a good scrub. <laughs> <laughs> you can get very confused by these things, yeah, you Charlotte. Really can.